I can't believe my daddy is dead. I can think of so many people I would rather have died first, like my mother. <laughs> That's right, the Wolf Pack is back. The Hangover 3 is the epic finale of the awesome franchise. Just like the first two, this movie is directed by Todd Phillips, but this time he went for a completely different approach. The first two were more of a, a comedy slash mystery, and I think these are more of, um, this one is more of a thriller, a quest, a heist movie slash comedy. I told myself I would never come back. Don't worry, it all ends tonight. Someone needs to burn this place to the ground. Ooh, I like that. In the first movie, Ed Helms' character Stu lost a tooth and married a hooker. In the second, he got his face tattooed and got abused by a Thai lady boy. So we can only imagine what's gonna happen next. In the first two movies, it's so extreme what happens to him. How could we do anything crazier? And then sure enough, at the end of the third movie, it gets a lot crazier. Can you remember me? I'm the one that picked the object. <laughs> of course, a hangover flick wouldn't be complete without Mr. Chow, who once again fails to keep his clothes on. This will be a feel-good movie because every guy go home feeling good about themselves <laughs> after watching me naked. <laughs> but Mr. Chow's tiny chopstick isn't the only piece of unwelcome nudity to be seen in the hangover movies. In the first one, wasn't there, didn't he want you to be naked or something? He was naked. No, I wasn't. I, you yeah, you were naked. Yeah, but you didn't see my peen. I did. No, I had a, I had a thing over it. No, I saw it when you came out of the thing with the, when you woke up in the morning in the first one. You were naked. For no, a, for a couple I, takes. Yes, you were. You no, I had something it. covering. No, buddy, you didn't. Huh? I haven't noticed. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad to know how you passed time, though. <laughs> We've been on a lot of adventures together, but it seems like you haven't learned anything. Anything. I'll be in the limo. Another familiar face is that of Doug, who always seems to miss out on the big adventures and never really becomes part of the wolf pack. In fact, even Stu's ex-wife prostitute, who makes a reappearance in part three, helps him out more than Doug does. In the movies that I've been in, I do get to help them. So I'm usually involved in their, whatever their plot is that they need to save the day and I get to just come in and help them. So that's good, it's fun to do that. She's kind of like Harvey Keitel in Pulp Fiction. <laughs> In this movie, there's no blackout to put the wolf pack in an absurd situation. Instead, they seek out professional help for Zach Galifianakis' character, Alan. On the way there, they get assaulted and Doug is kidnapped. The criminal responsible wants to trade him for Mr. Chow. So this movie is stuffed with messed up situations, weird people, and pure awesomeness. All brought to you without censorship and unlimited profanity. You never really think about a line that you're crossing, honestly. Um, but that said, the audience generally will tell you what the line is when you screen it for them. I'm doing things in this movie that would not uh, would not make sense in other movies that I've done because it's not The Hangover. My name's Alan and I bought a giraffe. Oh, my life is great! <laughs> Brace yourselves for a grand finale because The Hangover 3 is in cinemas now. 